Hey YouTube, how's it going? The weather has been fantastic here in Washington State, except for yesterday when it rained. <laughs> but we've had temperatures in uh, mid to upper 70s, lots of sunshine, just perfect weather for bike riding. So that's what I've been doing um, almost every day. All right. Today I want to show you the alcohol stove slash coffee kit that I take on bike rides with me. Um, let me say, a lot of cyclists just push themselves and just go, just pedal, pedal, mile after mile after mile. And um, if that's your thing, that's cool, but not for me. I ride my bike just purely for recreation and enjoyment, and I take a lot of breaks. I, uh, I explore areas that I've never been to. Um, always looking for an adventure. Um, I stopped and <laughs> this is going to sound funny. <laughs> I stopped and helped a snake cross a road <laughs> a couple of weeks ago. <laughs> he was laying in the middle of the road sunning himself and it wasn't a busy road but I knew Sooner or later, a car was going to come along. So I stopped my bike, got off, and was like <laughs> trying to shoot him across the street. He wasn't having none of that. He went into attack mode, <laughs> trying to trying to bite me. <laughs> but he wasn't poisonous, so I put my gloves on, picked him up, and I carried him. Over to the side of the road. <laughs> uh, I know. What are you going to do? <laughs> okay, anyway. Anyway, so I've started uh, thinking, you know, sometimes it would be nice to be able to make myself a cup of coffee. Uh, park my bike at a park and just take a break in the shade and make myself a cup of coffee. So... I devised a little coffee kit with a little aluminum stove, and this is this is currently my coffee kit, and I will take it apart and show you everything. And um, yeah, so the goal is to get this down even more compact. Right now, it's it's pretty compact but I want to get it down even more so if you have suggestions for that uh, let me know all right so here we go this is the Ziploc freezer bag I keep it in which is actually bigger than necessary so I'm also looking for something smaller to keep it in so it doesn't s spill out all over my bike bag anyway anyway so that's the bag this is a little aspirin bottle full of coffee freeze-dried coffee this is about enough for 10 cups all right this is my little alcohol stove this uh, piece of paper towel is just so the bottle stays in all right keep it a little compact that, that's all this is for all right this is the bottom of a hairspray can i got at the dollar store it's aluminum i cut the bottom off put filled about halfway with alcohol and that's that's my stove that's all there is to it uh, there's no jets it's not double wall construction it's just it's just a little aluminum cup, all right? That's really all you need, um, but it's not the best choice, and we'll get to that later, all right? Um, spoon from Dairy Queen. This is the smallest plastic spoon I have found so far, but I'm still looking for a smaller one. My fuel bottle. This was a two-ounce bottle of Colgate mouthwash, uh, trial size. All right, um, it's great for holding alcohol, heat alcohol fuel. It holds two ounces, which is enough for 
four cups of coffee, all right? This is a little tube that uh, quarters came in from the coin store, all right? I like half and half mixture of coffee and non-dairy creamer, 50-50. And so I mixed them in a bowl, mixed it up really good, and then poured it in this tube. And this tube is enough for three cups of coffee, maybe four, all right? Big lighter, which I found on a bike ride. Uh, paper towel, just in case. This is my windscreen, which is just a piece of aluminum foil, about, I don't know, 18 inches long, and I just rolled it up. <clears throat> so that's my my windscreen to go around the stove. You know, it's really, really simple and cheap. I was, I was going for simple and cheap and compact. All right. Ah, there you go. Um, what else? Oh, this cup. It was an eight ounce can of baked beans. I put a little handle on it. Very, very simple. I just bent. I just had this wire in my tool shed. I just bent it in that shape. Um, put a bolt through it. I actually got that idea from John J. Rambo 11111 uh, Malk. He is Weapon Collector's twin brother. All right. He made a cup like this with an aluminum handle. He, he had a piece of aluminum stock that he bent for the handle. I didn't have that, but I did have this really thick wire. I just bent it using pliers and my vise, and that worked out really well. It's very strong. It doesn't get hot when the cup gets hot. And, yeah, a folding handle would be better, so I am, I will probably upgrade or come up with another design for the handle, all right? Because, like I said, my idea is to get this as compact as possible. All right, but this is a neat little cup. Eight ounces. I don't fill it all the way full, obviously, because it would spill. Um, but a six-ounce cup of coffee is just perfect for uh, a short break on a bike ride. All right, so that's my little cup so far. And this is my pot stand. <laughs> you can't put the cup right on the stove, obviously, because it would put the fire out. <coughs> Pardon me. <clears throat> Another reason I'm looking for looking at different stoves is to find one uh, like a side burner that doesn't require a pot stand because that would be one less thing that I need for my kit. Okay, so anyway, <clears throat> this pot stand is made up of six pieces. These are pieces of coat hanger that I bent into this shape. <coughs> Excuse me. And these are little aluminum spacers. They're an inch long. They're hollow inside. I got them at the hardware store. Uh, they were 80 cents a piece, which is kind of expensive. <laughs> but <coughs> anyway, um, they work perfectly. And if you decide to make one of these, I suggest you cut your coat hanger first and take it to the store with you because different coat hangers are different thicknesses, all right? And so you need to find the right um, inside diameter to work with what you have. So that's what I did. I cut the wire and took them to the hardware store, and then I found these little spacers. And just go like that. And that, and that, and it is very sturdy. It's like one piece now, all right? Um, <clears throat> the cup's got to have some weight in it because 
the handle, it's it's handle heavy. It's heavy on that side, all right? So it won't stay on the stand. Oh, the stove goes in the middle. All right. I'm just putting these in here for weight to simulate water, all right? Look at that. Look at that. Neat. Very, very neat. Goes together. It works perfectly. It boils a cup of water with the heat shield in three minutes. And I'm good to go. Um, yeah. So, there you go. That's my little bicycle coffee kit stove. But, like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to compact this as much as possible. So, any, any suggestions would be appreciated. Let me know what you think. And... So this is a close-up of the stove and pot stand. Works really well. It's not that fuel efficient. Uh, the jet stoves use less fuel and get hotter. And if you have side jets, you don't need the pot stand. I think I already said that. But um, yeah, so I'm looking into that. But right now, this works fine. <laughs> All right, and takes up very little space. All right, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Enjoy your spring and summer. Oh, yeah. Peace.